Hi, I'm Mark and I'm passionate about English and for today's mini lesson I'm with some well they're not ex-customers they were customers of mine when I had my vegetable organic vegetable business and I was planning to do some idioms connected with fish and fishing and I remembered that they have a beautiful pond full of koi okay so it's uh, Sean and Mayan so hi guys hello, hello. Um, Hi. Sean, what do you do first of all? I'm a landscape gardener. I build fish ponds for a living. <laughs> and, and all sorts of gardening. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I have a policy which says if you can think it, if we can think it and you can afford it, I can do it. <laughs> I like it. So um, I create anything, really. And you built this? As well as many others, yep. Okay, brilliant. Mayan, what do you do? Um, I run meditation groups and all the people that come here for meditation always admire these fish before they go and meditate. No. How many have you got? There's 13 in there now. There was 14 last year, but one died of um, the cold, unfortunately. Ah. The UK is a miserable place in the winter. <laughs> yeah, and they're very difficult to look after, I believe. Well, um, that's a debatable question. Mm, the conditions are yeah. right. Yeah. In nature, they look after themselves because it's all about volume of water, it's all about volume of filtration. And if you get the biological filters right, they look after themselves pretty much. Okay. I clean this pond out two or three times a year oh. and um, I never do water changes. Um, and they never ever have any form of chemical treatment whatsoever. I rely on bacteria and biological sunshine, health, good food. Okay. And um, they've all got names, I believe. Well, some of them have, yeah. This one's called Lady Jane. Lady Jane. Yeah, and this one's a shower. That one's just going away over there. This one's called Chaz. We bought him in Chalm and stuff in the local fish shop. Um, this one's called a, uh, um, a, a Platinum Deutz, which is a, a German fish. A plat uh, Deutz means no scales. Ah. And Platinum's his colour. He's a white, shiny white one. Okay. So the, the the Germans have taken on the breeding of koi and made their own fish as well. So you've had these fish for quite a long time. Mm. But if, for example, the biggest one, mm -hmm. how much would that be worth? How much are you going to give me for it? <laughs> I mean, no, if, if you were to buy that from a shop, how much would you have to pay? It, no, it depends on the shop. It depends mm. on... Expensive. Did you say 2,000? Yes. Pounds? <laughs> wow. Lady Jane here, look, two and a half thousand pounds. No. Wow. <laughs> That's if people are prepared to pay. Yeah, that, it, listen, but they're listen, not for sale. Listen, are they? how much are you worth? <laughs> well, how much are you willing to pay? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and that's what they're worth. So basically, how much are you willing to pay for that yeah. fish? All right, tell me a little bit about koi then. Koi, um, well, koi carp actually means carp, carp, because koi is the Japanese word for carp mm -hmm. and all carp throughout the world are uh, mirror carp we have in England or you have um, they're all grey dark grey like yeah the big I lady carp yeah. in here there's a big mother carp she's the oldest one a lot they're all dark grey uh, for camouflage basically so they can survive in the wild and to have brightly coloured fish like this is um, is what we've created, like like Alsatian dogs, or, or ah, okay. you know, or, or, or a spe a breed. And what happened was there was um, <clears throat> some monks in Japan. They they, um, they uh, ate fish as a, and rice for a staple diet for many many years, and um, they kept fish. And the fish grew up to two hundred years old uh, in the right environment, in volcanic springs, yeah. in in the, in the perfect environment. Yeah. And so they would keep these fish for, for many, many years in big lakes and then use them for food. And then one day, one um, a monk noticed that one of his fish had a red dot on its head, rather like that one over there, yeah. which is in the tancho, which is means um, Japanese flag. Ah, yeah. The tancho. So to see a fish with a red, ah, red dot on his head is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, supreme for Japan. Yeah. So anyway, he heard about another monk that had uh, another fish with a... Um, a Union Jack. An orange and white. white. <laughs> a Union Jack, yeah, that's right. And uh, another one had white on it. Yeah. So they got the red one, they got the white one, and they bred ah. it. And so you had the first fish, which was called a shoa, which was black, red, and white. Okay. And that's where your first fish, fish come from. And then the Israelis got hold of the idea, and they made their own fish, 
you know. But all the koi that aren't grey or black are from those those two fish originally. They've been bred mm. from from yeah from those two fish from wow. that original stock yeah. So then each fish, so then each each farmer, like this one there is called Kujaku. So that was Mr. Kujaku that bred that particular type of fish, ah. and this one's called a. Sh um, a, a, a um, oh, I slipped my mind now. Oh, there's the big mother one. Look. Okay. She's the English cow. And will they breed in here? Uh, they do. They do breed every year. They have um, fornication for uh, whatever it is called. You know, playing with each other. Something fishy sex. going I think on it's there. Sex. Something fishy. <laughs> and um, they chase each other around the pond, and the water turns milky, oh, whitey colour. Yeah. So we all know what that is, don't we? <laughs> and uh, but. I think you might have to edit some of this. <laughs> no, but, no, we're doing fine. But in the bottom of the pond, which is six foot deep, there's a four inch drain, and the four inch drain turns over 1,800 gallons an hour. Right. So, for a fish to have babies, they've got to have shallows, which means they uh. have to have eggs, and all the eggs get sucked down the filter. Uh. They all go through the filter chain, and what don't break up and get eaten by the bacteria, the fish eat on the well when it comes over the waterfall the other end. Okay, you said, Mayan, something fishy going on. What yes, does that mean? I, I something think, fishy. I think um, Sean's got a tale to tell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a little bit of a joke because a tail, a fish has a tail. <laughs> a fishy yes. tail. A fishy tail to tell. So, what does tail. fishy mean? Fish is something to do with dodgy smells, isn't it? <laughs> fishy, fish. Or, yeah, a fish out of water is um, <laughs> smelly. Oh, Hang good. on, let's stick to the point now. <laughs> yeah. So if uh, if someone next door is doing something and it looks well suspicious, mm -hmm. yeah, that could be fishy, couldn't it's it? It's a bit fishy. It's that, uh, not quite okay. right. A bit suspicious. Yeah. Okay. So there could be something fishy going on with the neighbour. Yeah. Hello, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got you. Well, or maybe you come home and Mayan says, "Don't come in the room. Don't come in the room," because she's maybe wrapping up present for you and you right. think yeah. oh there's something fishy going on something fishy not necessarily on. bad but something you're not sure about yeah Some strange quirks the english people use okay yeah. what about um let's say mayan you leave sean and i i say to sean don't worry there's plenty more fish in the, in sea. the sea what does that mean well i caught him hook line and sinker so he's not leaving <laughs> 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 I'm hooked for You're life. doing too many. So <laughs> if you've got him hook, line and sinker, <laughs> the hook is what catches the fish, the line is the piece of uh, nylon. Yeah. Sinker is the weight. No, sinker means I've had it the uh. rest of my life. <laughs> the I'm fish is added. I'm sucked in and way down. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to explain it. So if Mayan got Sean or has got Sean hook, line and sinker, it means completely. And what was the other one we had? Plenty more fish in the sea. It means, for, if I say to Sean, don't worry, there's plenty more fish in the sea, it means there's plenty more girls out there. But anyway, they're a very happy couple. But I was taught up to believe that girls were called birds, not fish. <laughs> oh dear. So there's plenty more birds out there would be more yeah, apt. As I s explained in a lesson with birds, sometimes we call girls or women birds. Yes. Is he quite a catch? Yes, he is, yeah. What does that mean? Not um, you. Quite a catch, um, very lucky, very, um, quite a catch, I suppose I would say, he's one of a kind. Yeah. There's not many like Sean out there that can do what he can do. Does so, that kind so of you're lucky, you've got a, a good one. Yes. You've got a good fish. Very lucky. <laughs> okay, um, how about I had a whale of a time? Ah. Wow. A big time, big happy time, like a big whale fish. Mm, mm. I guess a whale is a huge great creature and it just gobbles up so many things all in one go that the saying would be, um, that was a successful day in a sense that I've just had a big catch with my big jaw and ate a hundred fish all in one go, I had a whale of a time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> he's uh, messing around here. Um, but a whale of a time means just a fantastic time. So, how was your holiday? Great, I had a whale of a time. And this isn't a dogfish. No, it's not a dog. There's, yes, there's a kind of fish. Well, it's a catfish. Is yeah, there's a dogfish as well. Fish, and there's a flying fish. fish. No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is Sean a cold fish? No. 
No, I'm a hot dog. What's a cold fish? <laughs> oh, usually I think when somebody shakes your hand yeah. and it's all limp ah. and horrible, it's like a cold fish handshake. Oh, okay. So somebody without energy or yes. sense of humour as well. Mm. Oh. I'd say it's when your woman gets in the bed in the middle of the winter and she cuddles up to you and she's like a block of ice. That's what I'd call a cold fish. And I, and I put my cold feet all over him. <laughs> that would be a cold fish. Too much information. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, if I ask you, um, she's right. have you seen my videos? Do you like them? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm fishing for compliments. Mm. What does fishing for compliments mean? We're, um, uh, um, we'd be uh, looking for feedback. Yeah, but it just means looking for compliments, doesn't it? Look, fishing, fishing for compliments means that we're sat there waiting for somebody to say, Mark, you're a really nice guy. Even <laughs> if it nice. isn't true, you'd be looking for it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd be looking for it. <laughs> OK, how about in business, for example, we need to cast our net wider. Ah. Mm. Well, to get that's... more fish. <laughs> and now we're going on to capitalism now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say okay. Let's say you're the birds coming to join You're us. a capitalist because you've got a business. <laughs> 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 let's say you come home to mine and say, "There's not so much work in Bournemouth anymore. Mm. I need to cast my net wider, mm. Mm. cover more area." Yeah. Maybe go to pool to Christchurch. Yeah, I need to take more fish out of the sea because it's not being raped fast enough. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> hey, and, and one last one. Uh, let's say with the police uh, to help you give an example. He slipped through the net. Hmm. Well, got he away. Got away. He didn't got he? Got away. Yeah. He He's, escaped. He slipped through the net. Yeah, what were we talking about? Politicians now? Or? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So now, um, actually, one thing I haven't said is um, Sean, Mayan, and myself are vegetarian. Yes. And if you don't, we don't know, eat fish. we don't eat meat or fish. But if you don't eat meat but you eat fish, it's a, something called a pescatarian. Did you know that? No. Okay. Pescatarian. And how about, are you vegans? Mm, most of the time. What does vegan mean? No dairy, nothing um, to do with animal products like eggs. Honey? Yes. You mean no? No. <laughs> <laughs> so no, nothing that's come from animals. Doesn't well, cause any harm. Yeah. To animals I don't think like I that. don't think that the 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 labeling of vegetarian is, is is right I think what we should be focusing on is just how many innocent animals are mm. slaughtered every day for the sake of feeding mankind mm. when we could eat vegetables let me just say there's enough there's enough vegetables grown to feed all the cow that was more than enough to feed mankind and then all these animals wouldn't need to die all these fish that are kept in farms everywhere are mm. suffering and I mean suffering my fish don't have treatment and the reason they don't have treatment is because they're they're happy and they're not stressed out and if you've got to treat the fish then it's not right they're sick they're ill and all these fish farms are full of chemical treatments so this is the problem don't you know? eat fish so I've got no problem with anyone going out with a fishing rod doing a little bit of fishing for their own selves you know for because but when we go out casting our nets to ah, break the yeah. seas, I think, well, we need to stop hunting them and start enjoying them. OK, um, I'm going to use an expression called play the devil's advocate. So it means I'm just going to take the role. It's not something I believe, but I'm just going to ask Sean this. Um, are your fish vegetarian? No. <laughs> <laughs> you see? No, they they're, have their diet is 30% protein. Yeah. So this is the problem. But then again, it doesn't mean to say the protein had to come from an animal, though, did it? So you well, better I, look at the This box. could be vegetable protein. Well, it could be, but I'm sure most fish food yeah. comes from fish. Dead fish. Yeah. Just fish eat fish. fish. Well, slugs. the thing is, the fish isn't in a position to make its own conscious decision, is it? Whereas we are, and yeah. that's the difference, you okay. know. That's true. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so it's come to the, 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 the time of the lesson where I tell a joke, and um, I don't know if you'll find this funny. Two fish swim into a concrete wall. One turns to the other and says, damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I told her. <laughs> Did I tell you it before? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what's Not funny her. there? Um, you are, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so damn is like, ah, shit, or bugger. Um, like a word of annoyance. Hitting but something. but in a river, you can often find a dam which is there to collect the water or for electricity or to stop flooding. So they are saying dam because it is actually the concrete thing across the river. Okay, your Beatles question. In the song Penny Lane, what kind of pies does Paul sing about? In the song Penny Lane, what kind of pies does Paul sing about? So you can just put in Penny Lane lyrics in Google and you'll be able to find the answer. Okay, and the hum for today, the Beatles song, um, I don't know if they will join in, but don't say it if you know it. Um, I'll whisper it to them first. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'd like to be. Okay, that uh, is uh, it. Uh, was that a bit strange, Sean? And that's, this is how it begins. Six months down the road, he's in the got white jacket, like that, you know? That's how it begins. But that's, that's another story. <laughs> he means I'll end up in a mental institution. <laughs> but I'm sure he'll end up there before me. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you very much, Sean. Thank you very much indeed, Mark. And thank, thank you, you. Mayan. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Any plans for today? Uh, no fishing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will um, s stay with the lesson for a few minutes and I will film the fish and maybe they will give them a little bit of food yeah. so they'll come up to the surface more. Okay, okay so, so, so here, here we are. Moment. Mayan's just thrown in a slice of bread and oh, they're absolutely loving that. They are going crazy. They're going bonkers. A bit like Sean. So who's that on the with the white and red now? Lady Jane. That's Lady Jane. And that's a very nice Rolling Stones song. Chaz, big, white one. big white one is Chaz. Shadow. Okay. And this... Um, Goldilocks, who I guess is gold, surprisingly enough. Okay, and it's a very beautiful garden they've got here. Um, they do have some washing out on the line at the moment, but there is, they've got some bonsai trees, uh, which are the miniature Japanese trees. Okay, so that's your mini lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something, and see you in the next one. Bye for now.